Today, I'm in Duval, Washington, located about 25 miles northeast of Seattle. Duval has really grown in popularity over the last decade with the continued development of Seattle's east side. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an idea of what Duval looks like and talk about the reasons of why people love living here. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I love helping you guys out. Those of you that reach out to me here from YouTube when you're moving over this way, I am an active real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area. So if you're relocating to this area, you're looking to purchase a home and you're looking for help with that process, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you. So let's talk about some of the reasons why people love living here. One of the, the really big attractors to Duval, Washington is the fact that it's a really small town feel. You can see the downtown area here that I've walked you through. It's a very small downtown area, but there's some cool boutiques and restaurants and distilleries, breweries, lots of different things that you can go and visit and, and take a look at. It's a really cool historic downtown area right here. Along with that, you're gonna have a very small town feel in Duval. It is not a big city. Uh, population is just over 8,000 people, so it's not a very big city. It's very quiet back here. You're not in the hustle and bustle, you know, the, the main end of things when you're talking about maybe the east side or the Seattle area. You're really tucked back out here, so it's gonna give you that quiet, private, small town feel while still having kind of that that small town area where you can go and grab a bite to eat, grab a drink at the end of the day. So people really love that aspect of Duval. Along with that, another reason people love living here is just the rural living options. You can come out here and you can find acreage. Whether you want one acre or you want 10 acres or you want 20 or 30 acres, you can find that in Duval. Now, maybe you want a, a lot that's very wooded, you want that acreage, but you want a super wooded lot, a very, you know, feel like you're living in the forest. You can find that here in Duval. You can see all the greenery around me as we're taking a trip through Duval here. You can see how green it is, how many trees there are around here. After all, you are in the Pacific Northwest. Now, if you're saying, hey, I'd, I'd love some acreage, but I'd love something a little bit more wide open, maybe a little bit more flat and more usable, really wide open land, 10 acres, you can certainly do that as well. I've helped clients buy acreage here in Duval where it was wide open and, and plenty of room to roam and, and build additional buildings on the lot if desired. So this is an, a, an area where you can find those rural living options where you are gonna have a very private lot in a very private home. Reason number three why people are really moving here is the proximity to the east side. And the east side is Bellevue and Redmond and Kirkland, those areas. Those areas have really developed over the last decade or two with you know, Microsoft and Facebook and Google offices, Facebook offices, all these high paying tech companies on the east side, as well as healthcare jobs and, and finance jobs as well. There's a lot of high paying jobs on this east side and Duval is a, is, a, is a doable proximity to those locations. You're gonna be anywhere from 12 to 20 miles away from those east side cities. So if you're taking a job over there, you know, it's, it's a very doable place to live and commute over there. That's why a lot of people have moved here to Duval when they're taking a job in that east side. They don't really wanna live in that east side though, in the, in the middle of the hustle and bustle. They wanna come out somewhere quieter and that smaller town feel. And Duval is that perfect option for them because it's close enough for them to drive to work, but they're getting kind of out of that hustle and bustle in terms of where they're wanting to live. And number four, one of the big reasons people are living here is recreation and the beauty of this area. I'm at McCormick Park here right behind me. This is right next to downtown. So you can go park downtown. You can walk around, visit the shops. You can grab a bite to eat and then you can come down to McCormick Park here. It's right along the Snoqualmie River. So you can see the boat launch here at Taylor's Landing. Taylor's Landing is another park here uh, in, in downtown. So you can walk from park to park on the trail as well. Uh, you can take advantage of the trails with the dogs. Why not take the dogs out here off leash and throw the ball, bring the kids out here and throw the Frisbee or kick the soccer ball. You know, there's picnic shelters out here you can see so you can have a picnic, maybe have a little birthday party, 
There's a swimming area here at the beach as well. You can see this nice sandy area where the kids can go swimming or you yourself can go swimming. You can throw a paddle board out the boat launch or a small boat. So this is a really cool area to take in these, these recreational activities. And you can see you don't have to travel far out. This is right in downtown, this park with all these trails. So you can go for the walk and take the kids out and the dogs out, like I said, and go swimming without traveling very far at all. Everything is nice and close and it's an absolute beautiful area to be. You also have Cherry Creek Falls, which is another very popular hike and trail in this area. It's a little bit further out in Duval. So if you also want to experience different trails that maybe have a, a higher elevation, more of an incline when it comes to that hike and not just a steady uh, flat trail, there's a lot of hiking options just outside on the outskirts of Duval as well, just outside of downtown that you can drive to and take in some absolutely beautiful uh, scenic hikes as well and enjoy a nice summer day. Even in the winter, there's people going hiking in the winter all the time. Right now, you know, I'm here in February. It's about 30 degrees right now. My hands are freezing cold, um, but I've been out here and, and there's people walking the trails. They're bundled up, they're with their dogs and people are still taking advantage of being outside because it's just such a nice and beautiful area. Now, I do wanna show you around some real estate options here in Duval. The median home price right now, early 2023 in Duval is 949,000. There's a wide range of what you can get. Like I said, you can get acreage property, you can get older homes, you can get newer homes. There's new development, uh, single uh, family detached homes, there's town homes. So there's a lot of options. I'm gonna take you around three different homes to give you an idea of what you might be able to expect when you're shopping for homes around here. So let's jump over to the first one. So you can see the first home behind me here. This is a four bedroom, 2200 square foot home here in a relatively newer community in Duval. It's about five minutes from uh, downtown Duval. I'll pop up the pictures of the home here. You can see behind me. Sold for 825 on the market for 825. Like I said, 2200 square feet, four bedrooms, 2010. So it's moving ready, it's clean. There's not much you have to do to it to move right in. It's a really nice neighborhood. It's a quiet area and you know it's going to be pretty uniform homes there's going to be some differences um, some architectural and characteristic differences so not every home is going to look exactly the same but it's a very nice well kept and clean and new neighborhood and like i said about five minutes from downtown so this gives you an idea if you're looking just for your standard home 2,000 or so square feet uh, that's not very old in a newer neighborhood this is really what you're going to be looking at like i said early 2023 here price 825 so let's jump over to the second home i'm going to show you some new construction on and what that would look like here in duval All right, so this is home number two. Now this is new construction here in Duval. This is the Ridge at Big Rock. So there's a lot of different types of homes and floor plans. You've got townhomes, you know, that are attached with shared walls. 
You've got detached single family homes like the one behind me. It's about 2,200 square feet, four bedrooms, just over 1.1 million. That's one example of something that's in here that they're building. And then you can go up, get homes that are closer to 3,000 square feet. This community is a, is a master plan community. It's got about seven parks and a clubhouse. It's still developing. So some of the parks they're still working on, a lot of the homes are still building up the street for me up here can't see very well I'll drive you up there as well I'm gonna give you a, a bit more of a driving tour around here I'll pop on the screen as well so you can kind of see the whole community but they're really building a lot up the hill there's a lot more homes that are gonna be going in so again this is really close to downtown it's only a few minutes from downtown so it's close into everything um, and brand new construction everything's gonna be over a million you know, uh, a, a town home is gonna be a little bit cheaper, of course, than a single family home. As you get up to some of the larger detached single family homes, 27, 2800 square feet, you're gonna be 1.3, 1.4 million. Um, but if you are coming to Duval and you're really interested in new construction, there's not a ton of new construction in Duval. There's some one-off buildings, um, but in terms of like master plan communities, this is really what you're gonna be looking at. So take a look at the ridge here at Big Rock go on their website, take a look and see if uh, it would interest you. And if, you know, if you're moving over here to Duval, this could be a really good option for you. But the last home that I wanna show you is on acreage. It's a 10 acre property. Like I said, one of the reason people live here in Duval is people that wanna find acreage property. So I wanna make sure to show you something on acreage, give you an idea of what that might look like. So let's pop over there. behind me so this is a 1992 built home throw the pictures up behind me it's 3200 square feet three bedrooms you can see that it's a lot of uh, 90s finishes still but clean and well maintained it has some updates of some of the larger stuff like the roof and whatnot what's great about this property is it's on 10 acres now it's a combination of both flat and usable open land as well as wooded areas so it's kind of half and half like I said, some properties are going to be very wooded, some can be flat and wide open, and you can have a combination of the two. So that's kind of what you're getting here at this home uh, in Duval. This one is priced at just over 1.1 million. So, you know, a good general range of, of price point. I recently sold a home to uh, some clients that also bought 10 acres here in Duval. It was a 5,000 square foot home that was 2015 custom built home. Um, and it was about 1.5 million. So you can see in Duval, you can get more for your money for sure than you can in say a Redmond or even a Woodenville and of course a Bellevue. So that's a, another reason a lot of people come out here is they can get more property, get more for their money when they're coming a little bit further out and still being in that commutable distance to the east side. But this hopefully gives you a good representation of some acreage property here in Duval and kind of the general price point of what you might be looking at. So you can see Duval here is a pretty desirable area to live. Here on niche.com, it's rated Duval as the number one Seattle suburb to buy a home. Now, not everything is sunshine and rainbows, right? Every city has its downsides. And really the big downside to Duval here 
is that there's not much within the city of Duval as a lot of the other surrounding suburbs. A lot of the other surrounding suburbs are very self-sufficient. They have a lot of places to go shopping and doctors and dentists and all that kind of stuff. While Duval has some options, they do have a grocery store, Safeway. They do have some doctors, dentist offices. They do have places to eat. They've got the historic downtown. They've got banks. It's not completely out in the middle of nowhere. They do have plenty of things. Not everything is gonna be here, like Costco. There's no Costco here. You're gonna to have to go to Redmond or Woodenville to go to your Costco. It's gonna be 15 to 20 minutes. So it's still not that bad. It's not super far away, but you're gonna to have to go to a neighboring city for a number of maybe, uh, you know, other things like doctor's appointments and things like that. You may have to go to a Redmond or a Woodenville. Like I mentioned, only 15 to 20 minutes away. So it's not a huge distance, but that is just something to keep in mind. But hopefully this gave you an idea of what it's like to live here in Duval and what makes it so popular. So like I mentioned, if you are looking to relocate over to this area, I am an active real estate agent over here. I'd be more than happy to help you out with your home purchasing plans and that relocation. Thank you for watching this one.